Joining me is David Glennon, Mansour Farid, John Taylor, Jason English, Arif Bualwan, Prakash Sengani. The industry has no other choice than moving into digitalization. I would say fail soon to succeed earlier. If you don't fail, it means you, you're not doing something new. I think adaptability, be open to the fact that things are going to be changing. Everyone is able to improve the idea of the other one. But we don't have to know um, all, the, all the answers in order to make a, a first step. I have this theory that if you can't write a procedure and fit it on one page, it's too long. Uh, being, being enthusiastic, being passionate and, and having some faith um, are, are, are key tools. Make sure we get a buy-in from the team on the ground. So at the very bottom, even the operators, um, you know, are, are far away from the, the GM as you can get, uh, are important to win over with this technology. It makes no sense to make a new product and make a new element using the conventional method we used to have before. Virtual reality has its place, but I think augmented reality, as the cost of the hardware comes down and more innovation starts happening um, within that space, we're definitely going to see that changing the way that we're delivered information. The next thing will definitely be a combination of AR and VR. The uh, evolution in 3D printing. 3D printing is going to be the future of tomorrow of construction. This is not going to be a choice. Every element you are printing out of this printing production line, I would say, you have now the leverage to make it different and make it unique. One of our big focuses is off-site manufacturing. So anything that we can do there to improve that process and to you know, make it easier for uh, work to happen away from um, you know, the, the project itself, we do that. We're doing that through using design for manufacturing assembly techniques. In the very near future, BEM will be the default. It's not going to be a choice. Digital twins are going to play a huge part. It's fundamentally changing the way that we design. Drones are becoming more and more familiar. We use drones for a lot of the uh, the visual, uh, for, for capturing the data to create visual representations of what we want to do. And we've got a number of proof of concepts at the moment where we've got sensors out on site and we're starting to pull that data back in to understand, you know, um, how that interacts. The practical application of um, artificial intelligence. When you lay real world results that show very significant improvements, it changes that attitude immediately. We know that without the fourth industrial revolution technologies, uh, we cannot improve as an industry our impact against the sustainability goals. It's not going to go away. And if you don't embrace it, you may, you may not be around in a few years, but if you do embrace it, there's a massive prize out there. Clients were asking us, coming to us and telling us, okay, what can we do? What should we be doing differently from a digital, from a technological point of view? So you're seeing the democratization of all these technologies that are actually becoming more affordable and mainstream to use day to day on every project site. This will be the, the standard of construction. Really interesting too, a lot of times, these companies don't want to brag to the other companies about their use of technology. 